100, and the good news is that Steve Kelly is restarted. He's going to have to hope that a lot of people, though, have a lot of trouble if he's going to get back into contention. He has been around long enough to know, however, that that can happen, so he will not throw in the towel just yet. The crowd here seems to appreciate his perseverance. Whoa, this is trouble. That's Manny Oscara. He is out of the truck. They've got the hood off. That does not spell good news for Manny's bid for a 10th win. They are looking inside, and that looks to be terminal. Looks like a dead engine. You never like to see it, but meanwhile, 703, Roger Mears in the Budweiser Nissan. Let's check in and see if we can get a word with Roger and co-driver Tony Alvarez. Let's hook up by radio. Roger Mears and Tony Alvarez. This is Marty Reed and ESPN helicopter right above you. Do you have a copy? Two to four. Tony, let me ask you, uh, what are conditions like on course right now? Pretty rough. We got problems right now. I got to go. Well, they certainly do have a problem. Marty couldn't see from his vantage point in the helicopter there that the wheel came off the right rear just as they made radio contact with Tony. And Marty is down on the ground with Roger right now. Roger, did it give you any kind of signal that it was letting go? Yeah, we lost it back there. On the other side, we only had three studs left holding the wheel on and finally just give up. It was hoping to make it onto the next check, but good. The only good news is is that uh, the word is is that Manny Escara is also broken down. Oh, really? That is a good word. <laughs> so the war is not over yet. Good, yes. Yeah, well, as long as we can get uh, the hub out here, get going again, we'll be all right. You see that Tony is actually trying to hold the truck on the jack. It's, the jack is sinking down in the sand there. Here's another look at the incident. The truck is moving along apparently in good shape, and all of a sudden, the wheel breaks loose and just goes bouncing out across the desert. That's happened twice now on ESPN telecast right when we've seen their truck. That's right. It was a year ago at the Gold Coast 300. Meanwhile, 753, Greg Simons of the Toyota that's running in the four-wheel drive mini truck class. He goes by Roger Mears. They're one of the elder statesmen in the sport. 207, the Coors Light silver bullet of Steve Serapis and Dave Richardson with Serapis now running out front at the wheel. And in a smooth section of the course where the wind does not seem to be kicking up as much, at least right now. This is Mark McMillan. We show him running in second place, and he's showing you the proper way to maneuver through the motocross section of the course and doing a very nice job of it, keeping everything under control. 1628, the race co VW of Darren Appling and Vince Leone as they oh, get very close to our camera position and get back into the throttle, and it looks like, yeah, there they go, up and over. Well, on the replay here, you can see that Appling has got troubles before he even goes into this right-hander. He gets a little too hot, tries to bring it back around. Oh, and there's no giving it at all. There he goes over. Well, that's called spilling the bicycle. <laughs> you cannot come back on two wheels from that position, that's for sure, to get on all four. We're back with Steve Kelly for another driver's eye view of the course. He's got clear running ahead of him there. That's the, the best vision we've had from the in-car camera. But then all of a sudden, look what happens. Dust swirls up again. He eases off the throttle to let it clear. Now, one of the great attractions at this year's Mid 400 gives these guys a chance to get away from these driving chores, at least this kind of driving. We're talking about a little bit of golf action. That's right, it was sponsored by Yokohama Tires. Most of the drivers spend their week in Las Vegas familiarizing themselves with the race course, but there's Steve Serapis. Looks like he plays a little bit. Tom Watson doesn't have anything to worry about. <laughs> look, at, look at the face right there. Speaking of uh, golfers or non-golfers, here's Scoop Vessels, and he took second place in the best legs contest. Look at that. <laughs> the, the, worst, ball go? the worst news is, <laughs> who took first? And better yet, he can't even find the tee, let alone the ball. Now, there's uh, Danny Ashcraft. You know, he actually played golf earlier in his career and thought about taking it up as a career. Uh, the tournament ringer. Here's Steve Kelly. He gets high marks for that follow-through, but the rest of the swing needs a little work. And Serapis again hitting his <laughs> second shot, <laughs> barely disturbing the tranquility of those ducks. Yeah, getting them out of the way. Quick head for cover. That's Dick Edwards of BF Goodrich, and obviously he's not spending enough time in the office because look at this shot. The ball ends up about seven, oh, maybe six feet from the pin, and he makes the putt. Yeah! Oh. No. Who's this? Oh, this guy is no racer. He's no golfer either by that stroke. My name? Jerry Garrett. Send the bill. We'll put it on the expense account, Marty. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, 
Yeah, good luck, buddy. The bill is on its way. <laughs> we'll send you the, the house, too. Let's go back to the racing action. 732, the father-son team of Jack Schleyman Sr. and Jr. They're making their debut in a brand new Jeep Comanche. 769 on the sidelines, Dave Simon, John Johnson in the Ford. They're out of action temporary, temporarily with what looks to be a flat tire. And 724 is another Stroh's Jeep. This one driven by Rob McCachran of Las Vegas. Rob posted three overall victories in an unlimited single-seater last year, and he's looking still for his first finish in the stock mini-truck ranks. Now, this normally uh, looked to be a little faster section on the course, but uh, Robbie taking his time there, trying to keep the vehicle one piece. 16-22, the race coat tandem VW. That's Danny and Marty Reeder as we head back to the motocross section. Here's the contenders for the lead in the bug class. 502 is Greg Deal and Mike Longley out of Phoenix. Not a lot of power in these vehicles, but a lot of racers in this class because it's a little more affordable than uh, getting into the big $150,000 trucks. 546 is the team of George Seeley Jr., Howard Anderson from Glendale, California. And uh, they're on the throttle a little bit harder there as they go through the motocross. And look, putting a move to the inside of 547, Gary Gates and Don McAfee, and they make the pass stick. Meanwhile, back inside with Steve Kelly and, oh, Jerry, it's obvious the dust is really getting bad. As the day goes on here, the gusts have now picked up to 50 to 60 miles an hour and is creating a lot of problems. Well, stay with us. We won't have any problem coming back to the Nissan Mint 400 right after this.